Self-love is the most important type of love. We live in a world, this consumerist society that tells us we need to buy things to make ourselves look and feel better. That if we buy these things in the external world, we'll start to feel way better about ourselves, we'll start to love ourselves, we'll have more confidence, all these sorts of things. But obviously, as soon as you take those things away, what happens to that love? What happens to that, that self-worth that we associate with those things? Well, if we give it something else, it's, it's going to disappear. And we often see love as external. It's often said to us in the way that stories are portrayed or that love is described. If we look at it from a romantic side, it's very much you complete me or you're my missing puzzle piece. This whole idea that we aren't whole to begin with, that we need someone or something to complete us. And that obviously isn't the case. So when we, and it's not only just love in terms of romantic relationships, this is within friendships and, and just interactions in general, that we often seek externally acceptance, validation, attention, and Rather than thinking about these things within ourselves and our own acceptance, our own validation, our own attention that we give to ourselves, we, we disempower ourselves by giving this to other people, by saying that I only feel loved if I get acceptance from my parents or validation from my parents or attention from this group of people. And, and do you see how that disempowers us? Do you see that when we start to say that, how if, we, if they're choosing not to give that to us, we're going to feel like we're lacking it. We're going to feel like it's not there. But actually, it's just a decision we can make to, to take that on ourselves and choose to accept ourselves for who we truly are, to validate our actions because we know that our heart's in the right place, to, to give ourselves attention. And that doesn't mean that, you know, spending time on our phone, it means be, sitting with who we are, really understanding ourselves because we're, <laughs> we're with ourselves all the time. That's so important. And it's our choice. We choose if we empower other people, if we empower ourselves. And self-love is in itself a practice that we, we show up and we choose and we practice to love ourselves more and more deeply. And in a world that doesn't want us to do so, this is incredible to be able to do this practice and deepen it. And the more we deepen our love for ourselves, the deeper that love goes, what's actually funny is that our boundaries will increase. You know, the boundaries we have for the love we, we will accept increase. So although we're feeling this love in ourselves and we don't have to go to the external, when love comes our way, because it will do, and this is the love we're accepting, that love will be higher, it will be better because we have higher boundaries to ourselves. Because we love ourselves more, we're not going to accept people treating us badly, people speaking certain ways to us. Because we love ourselves more, we will accept a higher type of love. There is a saying that we accept the love we think we deserve. And so if we love ourselves deeper, the love we think we deserve is going to be even, even greater. So this is really important to remember. And, and self-love is a practice. Maybe you can start by just saying, breathing in, breathing out 10 times and just saying, I love myself. Say it out loud. Hear yourself say those words. It may be something you've never done, but feel the power in that. The other thing to do is gratitude practices. When we are in gratitude, when we're receiving, we can't think about and feel the things that we're lacking. So you can't do it at the same time, they're two opposites. So focus on the things you're grateful for, whether that's, you know, and with yourself, when I'm talking about that, is also your body, your, your characteristics. And then you can also go into your family, your friends, all these sorts of things. But also start with you and focus on that self-love and the things that you truly love about yourself. And then start going through, maybe write a list of all the characteristics that you love about yourself. Everything that is amazing about you, because there are so many things. And yet we tend to forget about these because, you know, we're always looking forward rather than sometimes just appreciating where we've come from. Because every challenge you've ever had in your life, every challenge you've ever faced, you've made it through. So that in itself is amazing. And you just being you right now without having to do anything, without having to be productive, without having to show up. You are amazing and you're enough. And when you start to realise that, when you start to realise you don't have to chase the external world, you don't have to chase the opinions and approval of everyone else. And when we're able to sit with that, we can start to realise that the, the external world doesn't have the, the love that we're after, that we're chasing. You know, the love that we've been chasing, the pursuing and needing 
the love that we we want can comes from in here inside and when we start to strengthen that to go deeper into that we'll realize that we don't need to chase we don't need to pursue others other people other things that actually a lot of the love that we we crave can be given to us by ourselves and the more we we acknowledge that and and realize that the the more we can the more and deeper we can love ourselves and be happy doing so